Hey everybody, it's Joey. Welcome back. No, it's been a long time since I did a video. Sorry about that. Um, let's just jump straight into this one. This is called the CRKT Amicus, uh, designed by the yeah, Voxne, or I don't know how to say his name. But anyway, uh, I just got this in the mail, and I figured I'd do a quick video on it because of several reasons. But uh, number one is being quality control. But um, let's go ahead and uh, just talk about that first, okay? Because I don't know if I got a lemon or, you know, something happened. I don't know if 50% of them come like this. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. I know they're made in a Chinese factory, but you know, I own a Gonzo now that is almost impeccable and uh, blows this knife away in my eyes, a G G720, I believe. And uh, you know, I never thought I'd go there, but I kept seeing all these reviews and I went there. And, and this is my first CRKT in probably three years uh, because I didn't like their products before. They actually had more innovation than a lot of other knife companies to me at Blade Show. So I went ahead and went with this one uh first this i liked it because it had you know it had steel frame i don't have a lot of steel frame frame locks the lock up is nice um if that's gonna pick up i'll make it pick up let's see i'm bust out with a three night here all right it picks up good um, there okay so it's got a solid lock up right out of the box that's cool um it, it, the ergos are awesome it fits really good in my hand um either you know reverse grip or and here's the cool thing is it, it does have a place for a lanyard i don't use lanyards on pocket knives or on folders whatever and this has very uh this is semi-aggressive uh jimping along the back which i happen to like uh, it just holds my hand in place that much better um, But anyhow, let's see if I can shed some light on this subject here If it's gonna pick up All right Basically out of the box. I know you can see that there are scratch marks all along the blade It's all just just scratch marks. It's scratched up all along the pivot right here This is after I wiped it down with micro microfiber uh, the the blade is the inside was dirty um, with a lot of dust and uh, it wasn't quite gritty but it was really hard to open the only reason it opens and closes the way it does now is because I adjusted the pivot and I did not take the knife apart but I oiled it and adjusted the pivot and uh, it still didn't seem to you can really see those blade marks there that's ridiculous I mean or machining marks that's ridiculous right there uh, get it a little closer and try to show y'all see if it'll pick up right along there also if you notice the, the grind on the bottom on this side the grind starts kind of low trying to get it right along the grind here and it stays that way on the other side however the grind starts kind of high and then as you move it goes higher and then back to lower again so it's not a perfect grind, but it did come really sharp out of the box. I'm not really complaining about the grind so much as I am about just the way the blade looks and this right here. Yes, it's touching. It is completely touching. But for some reason, when I, look at that, I'm wiping right here because I see a mark. It's another machining mark right there on top of the spine. And there's another machining mark right here. If I can back it up some. Right there on the spine. You can barely see it. I'm trying to hold this flashlight steady. But anyway, uh, it, you know, I know it's only a $40 knife, but it really has disappointed me. Um, it opens fine now because I adjusted the pivot to where it just does not have, it does not have any blade play. But at the same time, let me wipe it down. Make sure I don't have any, any fingerprints on it. Yep. That's it. This is the way it came. And uh, I think that sucks. I think that's poor quality control. Um, I bought from uh, Ecop on eBay. And he is someone I've bought several uh, inexpensive. Anything under $75, I'll, I'll usually use him or United Outdoors, somebody like that. Supreme Solution. Some of those main guys on eBay that just carry tons, buttloads of things. 
knives, power sellers. But anyway, uh, yeah, so the lockup's fine and everything. Um, the ergos are great. I love the ergos. I love the knife. I love the design of the knife. And that's just my opinion. Um, the fit and finish suck. So fit and finish is, is a F on this, even for $40. I mean, think about what $40 will buy in the knife world now out of China. Okay, yeah, it's made in China. Well, most of the RKTs are made in China. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think all of them are. I don't know. I know that uh, most Kershaw are made in China. I know that all the Gonzos that everybody's raving about, now I see why, by the way, are made in China. So, I mean, if China can make Spyderco knives and they can make a $40 Spyderco Tenacious, I'd much rather have a Spyderco Tenacious than this knife right here because their quality control is impeccable. Um, I haven't ever received, and I've gone through probably six or seven Tenacious knives because I've given them away and just can't stand to be without two or three of them. So I rebuy them in <clears throat> different colors. But anyway, uh, yeah, I was just gonna share that, that with y'all. Um, we'll go ahead and do it like a normal knife review real quick, uh, just to, um, just just so just because I'm doing this, we'll go ahead and do the spine thickness, which is pretty nice. I mean, it's 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 really I like that. I like beefy folders. I like bigger folders. Anyway, so yep, let's get on the centimeter side, Joey. All right, we are right at four millimeters stock and that's all the way almost to the base and then it slowly tapers if this dang thing would sit right it slowly tapers see i'm pulling it away i'm trying to show you well i have the knife open there you go it slowly tapers to a pretty good point the point isn't bad at all the point is uh actually pretty decently thick and uh i like that Something I, I never liked about the paramilitary too is it came down to such a needle point. <sighs> Sorry about all the dirt on the table. Uh, this is a last minute thing, like a lot of my knife reviews are. But anyway, so four millimeter stock is not bad on a, for the blade spine. It shows you that it, it is, even though it's HCR 13 MOV, it's, it's, you know, I feel better having it, you know, a better uh, thickness. Weight of the blade is exactly 6.70 ounces. It's not going to show like that, but anyway, you can just trust me on it. It's 6.70 ounces. Um, the overall length of the blade I already measured is 8 inches. And the, I mean, not blade, I'm sorry. The overall length of the knife is exactly 8 inches. And the overall length of the edge is, uh, not the edge, the blade itself. If you start right there where the you know the the uh, most distal part of the handle goes toward the the most proximal part of the handle to the blade um it's three and five sixteenth inch long which is uh fine for me it's supposed to, you know they, they advertise 3.4 so you know that's right in there but anyway uh i just wanted to share that you know i was, I was pretty disappointed when it came out of the box it wasn't exactly like this it was like this somewhat but the top right here this part this this part of the the tang was mashed all the way against the left side and uh so hence it was you know it was like it was twisted it was like it's, someone had machined a knife and twisted it this way so that this side touches here and this side up here was actually not centered i got it centered um as you can see it's centered now it, it in fact it may be still pushing along that left side just a little bit but uh, that's after, you know, adjusting the pivot and wiggling the blade a little bit, oiling it, you know, trying to see what, if I could do anything with it before I sent it back. But this one's going to be sent back. Um, very unimpressed with the quality control and uh, the overall fit and finish of the knife. Other than that, the Ergos are great. It's a great looking knife. I think for $40, it's a steal if you didn't have all those problems. But it is a filthy, scratched up just disproportional i mean i i can't think of i guess I'm, i don't want to bash the rkt because i don't have enough of their knives but i guess there's a reason why i hadn't been buying them through the years 
So anyway, thank you for watching. God bless.